Colonel Sanders probably didn't see this day coming when the first KFC franchise opened in 1952. Today, the fried chicken joint will launch nationwide plant-based chicken from Beyond Meat for a limited time. This is not the first time the two have teamed up. KFC first tested Beyond Meat's plant-based chicken in August 2019. At several locations in Atlanta, the item sold out in under five hours. Joining us now is Beyond Meat's founder and CEO, Ethan Brown, and KFC U.S. President, Kevin Hockman. Uh, good morning to you both, gents. Nice to see you again. Ethan, first question to you. Who do you think the core customer is for this? So this is really about enabling people to continue to increase the choices uh, that they face as they go into their favorite uh, uh, restaurants. And KFC has been such an incredible partner to us over the years, allowing us to iterate together to create a product that is absolutely delicious. And it really is, is to appeal to what we call flexitarians, folks that are making reductions in animal protein consumption, but not eliminating animal protein consumption and doing that uh, in the places they love to eat like KFC. Kevin, from the KFC perspective, if I'm a person going to KFC, ordering my bucket of chicken like I have done for 15 years, do I buy these products as an add-on or do I give up that bucket of chicken and buy a bucket of Beyond? Well, I think it's a it's a both answer, right? We're, we think that we're going to attract some new younger customers that you know, traditionally have not come to KFC that are looking for uh to eat more plant-based options in their in their lifestyle, as well as uh, potentially getting our existing customers to come more frequently because they have folks in their uh, households or themselves wanting to eat you know, more plant-based protein. So, you know, it's an amazing product. Beyond's an amazing uh, partner. They're a terrific brand. They have the best tasting products. Um, and they've been able to develop a product that is worthy of the Kentucky Fried Chicken name, which is what we're super excited about. Hey guys, it's Julie here. Certainly you can fry most things and they're going to taste pretty darn good, although they're different, they're different strata of, of fried stuff. Ethan, I'm curious how you guys formulated this differently from some of the, your other products too. And are you trying to taste like the chicken at KFC or talk to me about the, the development process, if you will. Sure. And it's been a really, it's been a fun process. It's been one that we've done together. And, uh, and that's always really important. I mean, they opened up all their research and development uh, capabilities to us and we did the same. And, and this has been going on for years now. So what we've been doing is trying to get toward that North Star. Everyone really loves the taste of Kentucky Fried Chicken. And we wanted to deliver that to the consumer, but simply change the substrate or the, the meat component of it. And so for us, it was really a focus on texture. How do we get that whole muscle texture so when the consumer bites into it, it feels so much like what we've been used to uh, consuming for, for so long, which is uh, that chicken breast uh, uh, feeling. And so uh, never deviated from that goal, which is the, the North Star of Kentucky Fried's really delicious tasting products. And I think we, we're getting closer and closer. And this, this uh, launch today, the consumer is going to get an opportunity to taste, I think, what's the best in the market. And Kevin, just to go back to you on this, I, I am curious, do you think that this is going to generate new traffic for you guys? It, absolutely. You know, we've got um, you know 90 percent of the folks that are buying beyond in plant based proteins at the grocery store are also eating um, animal based proteins. And so if you think about our core customer and, you know, our longer term strategy, which is um, to get the next generation of customers into the KSC brand, whether they're families or single people, and this is the type of product that many innovations they're looking for that they're going to come and drive past a bunch of other QSRs to get to. So, you know, and there's a lot of other changes that we have in our restaurants right now, whether it's our new app or our new website, our new chicken sandwich, which is done exceptionally well. These are all things that that customer is going to experience and, and come back to KFC more often. Ethan, fast food sales have been strong, really, the past six months. KFC and many other brands, too, as well. I, Given where we are in the pandemic, do you think we have some sort of, of healthy eating fatigue amongst people? You know, that's a great question. Um, and I think KFC did an amazing job pivoting to um, drive through and, and, and really showed success throughout the, the pandemic. Um, I, I think we're emerging uh, from uh, what has been such a difficult time. And I think people are looking now to make changes uh, in their diet and in their lifestyle to, to, uh, to put all this behind us. And so I think it's the perfect time to be launching this. And I think KFC is a great partner to do it with. I think over the next 12 months, you'll see more and more people come out of this pandemic and, and uh, uh, resume uh, uh, a healthier lifestyle. And so this is an opportunity for them to do it. There's been, a, Ethan, I don't want to put a lot of, there's been some interesting stories about uh, out about Beyond Meat in, in recent months. 
How can maybe you can set the record straight for us? How full is your product pipeline looking out over the next twelve to eighteen months? I mean, it's it's really uh, it's fun to look into our innovation pipeline and see all the products that are available uh, for us to to push out into the market. And if you look at what we were able to accomplish over the last eighteen months, I think we've commercialized more products than anyone in the plant based industry across the globe. We've opened up facilities in Europe and in China, introduced new products there here in the U S. Uh, this is a perfect example. Uh, this is the largest nationwide uh, uh, plant-based chicken launch ever. And so we are uh, innovating at a, at a, a, a terrific pace. Uh, we're growing our infrastructure to be able to produce and serve these customers at, a, at an even stronger pace. And so we feel really good about what's coming down the pipe. I think you'll see additional announcements from us uh, throughout the year on, on products and, and partnerships. Good to hear. Uh, and lastly, just on the innovation front too as well, how hard is it to create products like this, and how long does it take? You know, I think it's, we, we began this journey on chicken 13 years ago. Uh, and so we've been iterating our platforms and it's really around these characteristics that we call fat, flavor, aroma, appearance, and texture. And we're trying to improve those every year by looking sort of relentlessly at the composition of animal protein and then sourcing uh, that uh, analogous uh, molecules or the same uh, from plant-based inputs uh, and then organizing those in the architecture of uh, animal protein. And so when you do that year after year and you're doing that against a target that is static, which is the, the animal's body, or the animal's body is not evolving or changing uh, at a pace that we can see. And so uh, we have this opportunity to continue to innovate and iterate toward our North Star and we get closer every year. And I think this product with KFC is an absolutely perfect example of that. I think it's going to delight consumers. It's certainly delicious, and uh, and we'll keep working with KFC to, to introduce uh, uh, better and better versions over the years. Yeah, I got to get the heck out of my kitchen and go order myself some of these. Beyond Meat founder and CEO Ethan Brown, good to see you as well. Uh, KFC U.S. President Kevin Hockman, good to see you too. Have a great rest of the week, guys. Thank Thanks you. so much.